their operations here at the Street Players. Uh, how many of you saw rumors? I was the director and built the set for that. And now I stick around <laughs> to build all the sets in the future to help all the directors. We'll have many guest directors for various shows coming in, accommodating them, making sure this theater has the best shows in town. Um, first things first, uh, cell phones, put them on silent, turn them off. If you're a doctor, Ireland, I want to put them on vibrate. If you have a kid that is prone to go into the emergency room, you can put them on vibrate. Otherwise, put them off the silent floors, please. Um, if you are on fire, or the person next to you is on fire, there's an emergency exit to the right and the left of you. If you are not on fire, please use the double doors in the back. You have 50-50 out there, so don't forget your air conditioning. Get your 50-50 tickets if you have it already. But I know how many have been sold, and I think most of you have. There is a lot of money in the pot. Um, yeah, so if you haven't got them, get them. Over 200. You're going to get at least 100 bucks for them. Um, and without any further ado, we're going to get right to cut to the chase and start our meeting. We're going to start with somebody who is going to make your eyes lie to you, but make your heart laugh at the same time. Please give a nice welcome to Tim Picciarello. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Give Rick a round of applause. How's everybody? You doing well? Yeah. You're probably one. My name is Tim Picciarello, and the first thing you're thinking of, is that your name or your condition? No. Picciarello. What, what nationality? Nice Irish name, right? Yeah. I'm right down the road, Mount Dora. How many have seen me before? Bunch of, oh, thank you. That's my sister. My sister, that doesn't count. How many have not seen me before? All right, how many wouldn't care if you never see me again? Wonderful. All right. I do, just so you know, I do magic and comedy, so whatever you don't find funny, that's the magic part. All right, this is so cool. Is this theater cool or what? I yes, give a round of applause to the Bay Street Theater. Wow. Built in the 1920s, something like that. I'm just, it is so, like, kind of gothic, isn't it? I'm just waiting for Bela Lugosi to come out that way and Boris Karloff to come out there, but we're not going to do that. Let's pick uh, this gentleman uh, in the, you don't mind if I call you a gentleman, do you, sir? It's all in fun. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Bill. Bill, nice to meet you. Would you take that deck of cards and just have a seat? Take them out of the box. Make sure it's an ordinary, everyday pack of playing cards. Nothing tricky about them. You just take your time, too, Bill, because we're not going to use that deck anyway. We're going to use this one <laughs> right here. No, I'm only teasing. Check that out. Make sure it's an ordinary, everyday pack of playing cards. It's the only normal deck I own. All right. Now, what I want you to do, I'm, what I'm going to do, Bill, is I'm going to turn my back to you. When I turn my back to you, what I want you to do is go down and look at one card. Memorize it. Don't take it out of the deck. Don't show it to anybody or let, let anybody in on it, okay? Wait till I turn my back and just go down through it. Now, don't take the ace of spades either because that's way too easy. Everybody always picks that. Memorize one card. Now, when, you, when you're done with that, leave it in the deck, put the deck back in the box, and just hand it to me. Okay? Take your time, Bill. They closed the building at two. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now, Bill, normal deck of cards. Am I correct? Nothing tricky about them. You went down through, looked at one card, just mentally selected it, memorized it. Nobody in the entire audience has any idea what card you looked at. I couldn't have done anything tricky because I turned my back to you. Correct? Let me ask you this. Wouldn't it be utterly impossible for me, I mean physically for the most part, to blurt out the card that you just looked at? Wouldn't that be impossible? Maybe. <laughs> it would? Yes. Heck, if you can't, you can. I'm not here to waste your time. I can't do that. I can't do that, Bill. That's what we call a gag, you know? I don't do stuff like that. No, I do weird stuff with cards. I do what we call flourishes. And flourishes are what designs with the cards. Now, this design I invented, I'd like to get the whole audience in on it. So I want to hear all you folks on this side go, ooh. ooh. Very good. Over here, go, ah. Oh. Oh. Wonderful. All in the middle, just go, <laughs> All right, this is really cool. Going to cue you. Ooh's, ah's, and in the middle. Here we go. Now, this is one that's called Niagara Falls. It's a waterfall shuffle. I call it Niagara Falls. Here we go. All right, you guys are good. All right, how about this one? Niagara Falls from the Canadian side. 
All right. Niagara Falls last month. All right, all right, I understand. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. I know sympathy when I hear it. Okay. Try something. You want the heavy duty stuff. Because we're not, well, let's do a real card trick. Real stuff. An invisible pack of playing cards. Can you in the back see them okay? Yeah. You can, ma'am. <laughs> you're a stranger than I am. All right. I'm going to take them out, shuffle them up. Let's pick a, a lady out, um, somebody uh, that Kurt can get a camera. Who would, over here, raise your hand, uh, I'm gonna toss into a lady. Don't all jump at once, please, whatever. This lady in the, in the peach shirt, right there. Um, yes, your name is? Pat. Pat, all right, can I call you Pat? What time? <laughs> no. <laughs> Got a big husband. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm only teasing. Now, we wanna make sure this is not prearranged. We have never met before, have we? No, <laughs> you seem darn proud of that too. All right. <laughs> now, Pat, this is an invisible pack of playing cards. We're going to try the same thing we did with Bill here. This is going to be really cool, though. This is going to be legitimate. I'm going to toss this deck to you. Catch it. Whoosh. Perfect. Now, shuffle up the cards. Just shuffle them up. Take them up. You're, you're doing a wonderful job, Pat, but you got to take them out of the box first. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now, shuffle them up. Now, what you're going to do is the same thing Bill did fan them out so you can see the faces and just pick one out. Take it out of the deck. Just take that, that. <laughs> She's doing it. <laughs> okay. Now let me take a wild guess. Pat, you did not by chance get the queen of hearts, did you? Ladies always pick that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to turn my back. You kept that to yourself, right? Remember when you memorized that? I'm going to let you show it around, everybody. I'll turn my back, show it around, let everybody see it. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Now hide it so I can't see it. Now this is what I want you to do, Pat. I want you to take the deck, turn it face up, place the card face down the face up deck. Unless the deck is face down, then place the card face up in the face down deck, so it's upside down or reversed. Okay, you, you, you didn't used to be blonde, you understand, right? Okay, all right. Start my car, they're turning. <laughs> Only kidding. All right, now Pat, you reverse the card in the deck. What I want you to do is just shuffle it up so we don't know where it is, top, middle, bottom, but it's reversed somewhere in the deck, okay? Put them back in the box, and if you would be so kind, just toss them right toward that bag. Go ahead, just throw them there. Whoosh! <laughs> this is really cool. I know, I get to the... Wait a second. Believe it or not, that deck that you're using is mysteriously materializing inside this bag as we speak. <gasps> not yet. <laughs> All right, hold on. It's done. Let's see, is it done? Oh, yes, it is. The deck you're using, Pat. An ordinary everyday pack of playing cards. <laughs> Biggest kind in the jumbo variety. They are bicycles, so you know we're going to be taken for a ride on this one. Now, before I came here tonight, it's actually a jumbo deck of bicycle playing cards, a regular. They're just so bigger so you can see them. Now, before I came here tonight, Pat, I turned one card in this deck upside down, one card only. Wouldn't it be utterly amazing if the only card that I reversed in this deck matched the one that you reversed in your invisible deck? Wouldn't that be amazing if those two cards matched? Would it? <laughs> Hell, it would be a miracle if those two cards matched. <laughs> Yet that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to count to three, Pat. When I hit three, I want you to yell your card out loud so everybody can hear it because nobody saw it, neither did I. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Remember before the show we talked in the hall? No. It's three of clubs, you said, right? Correct? You want to change your mind? No, you're happy with the mind you have. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. We'll take your word for it. We're going to go down through this deck. I'm going to look. And in this deck, I feel relatively certain there is going to be one card and one card only reversed in this entire pack of playing cards. Believe it or not, toward the beginning, there it is, your card, the three of clubs. Give Pat a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pat. Isn't she wonderful? Our, pardon me? Oh, wait, hold on. Lady in back said what? No. You don't believe me. No. I'll prove it to you. Yes, it's a three of clubs. Give Pat a... No, it is. You believe me, don't you, Pat? It is the three of clubs. Give Pat a round of applause. Now, 
right. I get the feeling I'm at an Arsenio Hall show. This is cool. Now, Pat, there you are playing with a deck of cards that's not even there, which is one step ahead of me. I'm not playing with a full deck. <laughs> I'm going to give you a present, and I don't do this for just everybody. Come up here and give me a hand. Give Pat a round of applause. Come on up here for a second. Come here. I'm going to give you a present. Come on into my office. Come over here. Welcome to my job. Take your time. Take your time. It's fills up time. This is great. Keep the applause going for Pat. Now you go, woof, woof, woof. Come on up here, right over here. Just run over, Kurt. Yeah. Don't hit the camera. Here, I'll take your hand, sweetie. There you go. Perfect. Come on up here, that uh, girl. Come on over here. I'm going to give you a present. All right, she got here. All right. Now, let me ask you something, Pat. Face the audience so you can see your pretty face. Have you, uh, do you have a pet doggy at home? No. You don't. Would you like one? Say yes. No. No. Because okay. <laughs> that would be really crappy because then you'd have to go all the way back there empty hand. No. Or you may get, well, not a real one. This is a balloon doggy. Okay. How many have seen one of these? How many have kids or grandkids around six, seven, eight, nine years old? Anybody? You got those? You want to entertain them? No. You don't want to entertain them. <laughs> Bill, Bill said I could barely stand my own kids, let alone my grandkids. No, this, you don't need to do anything to entertain. You just take one of these and go like this, Pat. Stretch it out. Six, seven years, eight, maybe nine. Go like this. Oh, <laughs> they love that. <laughs> They're sadistic. That's why that's what they do. All right, so we're going to blow this up, make you a doggy. This will be really cool. There you go. And there we have it for you, Pat, your very own little pet doggy. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a hot doggy. <laughs> and there's his tail. But watch. We're going to do a little magic. In one fast move, I'm going to change this from a doggy into a completely different animal. Doggy now, one fast move, different animal. Ready? Snake! <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. It's a doggy, and I'll prove it. He does tricks. Want to see him do tricks? Watch, Pat. Speak! <laughs> Not impressed. Okay, how about this one? Sit up. Good. Roll over. Wonderful. My favorite. Play dead. Whoa! Hey, when that happens, no problem. Try this again. <laughs> All right, it's going to be cool. All right. <laughs> this reminds me, last night I did this for a state trooper. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Some of you are getting them later or enjoying them longer. I don't know. All right, here we go. <gasps> <laughs> Cheer up. <laughs> I love it. You're so cute. All right. What's your name? <laughs> He's so cute. What's your name? <laughs> Pray for a name for this lady. <laughs> All right, here we go. <gasps> don't die because I don't know CPR. <laughs> One more try. <gasps> ah, you ready? Here we go. Cool stuff. Now make your dog out. There's his head. Little ears and nose. Isn't that cute? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Neck. Front legs. Body. Back legs. And there we have it for you, your very own little pet. Doggy! Yay! Just for Pat. But some ladies don't like doggies, Pat. Some ladies would rather have a different animal. Their very own little pet anteater. <laughs> Unusual, I know. Would you rather have a doggy or an anteater? Dog. Doggy. That's a good thing. I make 400 different animals. 400. All of them look like doggies. <laughs> But the poodle is my favorite. Give Pat a round of applause. Thank you so much. Let me help you down. Give her a round of applause. All right. Step down. Perfect. Okay, because we don't want you to be the first lady from Eustace in space. All right. Wonderful. Give Pat a round of applause. All right. Now. Okay, I got time for one more thing. You know why? Because I got another show to do in May. So... I got to get out of here. And people always come up to me and say, Tim. And they say that because that's my name. They say, how do you learn how to do magic? How did you learn? Well, I'll tell you what. Growing up, um, 
back uh, in the 20s. <laughs> when I, where I grew up, I was in a rural part of Pennsylvania. And um, there was no magicians, literally, for about 150 miles. So there was this kid, 14 years old. I had nowhere to learn, so I started reading books. And I learned even the magic. Um, I, these mail order houses would send me books. I'd buy props also. But I learned magic out of books. Now, not today. What do we have today? We, yes, the internet. We have YouTube and all that stuff. And I found this company makes it real easy called a Trick of the Month Club. Yeah, and they send me a box of props, and they usually send me a little CD, which I download either into my iPod or sometimes just a CD, and they walk me through the trick. And I thought, wait a second, I'm coming over to the Bay Street Theater, and I said, I got one this month, because I've got to stay up with the routines, you know, do something new from time to time. I got one about a week ago. I said, wait a second, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to open up, check out the props, but then I'm going to learn it with the audience. Do you want to learn a trick with me? You'll see. All right, now, let me just tell you what I do most of the time. I'm a motivational speaker, so let me ask that again. Do you want to learn a trick with me? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right. Margo, would you turn on the, uh, the thing? This is what they gave me. And, uh, yeah, just a uh, box of props. It's playlist. Turn up a little bit. A little bit more. Keep going. Up louder. Hello, fellow. Perfect. Ladies. Welcome to the world of Acme Magic, your professional mail order magic company, 100% genuine. This lesson is the mystery of the vanishing bandana. For this mystery, you will need two props. One is a square of darkly colored fabric and a yellow bandana. Pick up the bandana. Now, fold the bandana in half. That's right. Fold it in half. <laughs> now, fold it one more time. <laughs> Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. Remember to keep your hand in the natural position. This is called palming. Now that you have mastered palming, we're ready to begin. Open up the folded bandana. Show the audience it is a regular bandana by waving it up and down. If an audience member does not believe it is a real bandana, allow him to wipe his face on it. Now, pick up the dark square fabric and gather the four corners together, making a little makeshift bag. Using your free hand, Fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier and drop it into the folds of the fabric makeshift bag. From the outside of the makeshift bag, squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. <laughs> what the audience didn't see is that you never really put the bandana in the fabric at all. <laughs> you really kept it hidden in your left hand. Remember palming? <laughs> Again, remember to keep your left hand held naturally. <laughs> now, make a magical gesture. <laughs> For the grand finish, fling open the fabric and receive your well-deserved applause. <laughs> Well, did you have fun so far? Yes. You have been a great audience, I'll tell you what. Give yourselves a hand. You really are. I'm mean, going to warm up. You're great. In fact, of all the audience I've had, you folks are the most recent ones. So, I always try to make you laugh. Laugh once a day. You know why? Because a day without sunshine is like night. And don't take yourself seriously like Bill's been laughing the whole time. Laugh at yourself, right, Bill? And if you can't laugh at yourself, what do you do? Make fun of other people. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I'm Tim Picciarello, right down the road, Mount Dora. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye. Thank you. Coming up, Glenn. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Tim Piccolo, everybody.